I always like to talk at these conferences about what it is we stand for. And one of the descriptions I like came from Adam Smith, the great book, The Wealth of Nations, The Simple System of Natural Liberty. That's really all we're talking about, the simple system of natural liberty. Liberty is what happens when you let people alone. If you leave people alone to make their own decisions, liberty and civil society and economic growth flourish. In practical terms, of course, libertarians favor smaller government, less spending, lower taxes, free trade, civil liberties, personal freedom, and a less interventionist approach to defense and foreign affairs. I was asked once by some skeptics, what's the most important libertarian accomplishment in history? I thought for a moment and said, the abolition of slavery. Okay, they conceded, name another. Now, I thought the abolition of slavery was pretty good. I thought that if you had the abolition of slavery on your resume, you could go to meet your maker in pretty good shape. But they said, They said, that's one, name another. So I thought a little more carefully, and then I said, bringing power under the rule of law. That was a revolutionary achievement. As we all know, it is incomplete. But if you read Steven Pinker's book on the better angels of our nature, if you read Michael Shermer's new book, The Moral Ark, you will see that in more and more of the world, we have at least partially constrained power within the bounds of law. In the United States, we call it mostly the Constitution. In other countries, there may be other ways of doing it, but we have constrained the arbitrary use of power. It's a revolutionary achievement, but it's incomplete. It's what the Levelers and John Locke and the American founders fought for. It's what the protesters in 1989 against communism fought for. It's what Rand Paul filibustered for. It's what Yang Zili, Karim Amer, Chang Guancheng, and the protesters in Hong Kong and Venezuela fight for in challenging circumstances. It's what we fight for here and now. Thank you for being part of that historic struggle. Thank you.